Well, it finally happened. I did an entire episode sitting right here, and I never hit the record button. Not quite 200 episodes. I'm at like 190, I think. This is for 190, and it finally happened. I record. I, I did the whole thing. Look, I drank it. It's poured. It's popped. It's sitting right here. The ice is right. I did the entire episode without recording. So I'm just going to kind of recap for you real quick. Jones Foo Foo Berry Soda. Okay, so... This is Jones Foo Foo Berry Soda. It smells a lot like a sweet tart or a Pez style candy, and it tastes exactly like a Fizz Sour Warhead. If you remember the Sour Warheads, they're still around, but like I didn't really have them on, you know, recently when I was a kid. This reminds me of the Watermelon Sour Warhead, which was my personal favorite. There's more flavor in here than just watermelon, but this is a bright, sour and sweet soda. It's definitely a sour soda on the front, a little dry on the back, and a little bit, just a little bit syrupy. Not a lot syrupy, just a little bit. But there you go. Uh, Jones Soda, Foo Foo Berry Soda. It's sour, sweet, a little syrupy, a little dry, bubbly. I like it a lot. If you're going for a Sour Warhead vibe, I think you're going to be really happy with this. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for just being a little bit syrupy, but I think it's quite good. If you want to know more about Jones Soda, you can go back and watch episode 34 where we tried their watermelon soda. We've also tried their birthday cake and their turkey Thanksgiving sodas. So there you have it, Jones Foo Foo Soda. I'm Derek. This is Poppin' Sodas. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.